It won't. I can't hear myself. <laughs> That was longer than expected. <laughs> Everybody was we keep, we keeping that one. Do we talk? All right, cool. So <laughs> oh, on, our, on our current events. Uh, that was hilarious because none of us knew what was going on. So uh, welcome to Clippers and Convos. My name is oh, Josh we, we Ross. Keep it going yeah, we keep real. on going. We just going to keep on rolling. All right, Guten Tag. Guten Tag? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Guten Tag. How y'all doing? Oh, man. I, that was yes, funny. Sir. All right. So <laughs> welcome to Clippers and Convos. My name is Joshua Ross. Thank you. Trap Farrell. The Barber. Okay. Thank you. The but, hustler. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Y'all should start adding y'all at y'all. Like, we should start doing that. Like nickname. Dolce Homes, no L. I'm really hard to look up, and I'm not. About it to really my is name. hard because I always try to look that up. I'm not about deep. to change my name because I like the uniqueness of it. So where? So find me oh. if you're not old. Well. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah. Dolce no Homes. No All right. Yeah. yeah. So we just going get right <laughs> into it. Uh, real quick, I just want to make sure we give a shout out to all of our sponsorships for Fly Nation Grooming Lounge. Shout out to them. Shout out to uh, Louis J. If you haven't already checked out Divorce, Divorce. on all streaming platforms, check yes, out Divorce. Yes, uh, shout out to Staying Fresh Clothing Line. Shout out to the, our group, um, our, our, I guess, our podcast mates, the Clipboard. So shout out yes, to them. Sir. Yes, sir. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, we're going to jump straight in. How was y'all week, man? How y'all feeling this week? How was y'all? We took a week off. Um, we still trying to get that. Yeah. Together we haven't yet, but we will soon soon enough. But how's y'all week so far? This keeps on going off and it's going to upset me. So I'm gonna do this. <laughs> What's up? I started off. Yeah. My week was really good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say my week is really good and just stop right there. Like you wanna get you into asked, you asked me how it was. No, nah, I feel it good. was really good. I did nothing much but cut hair. Mm-hmm. And I accomplished some goals. <laughs> Man of many words. Yeah. Yeah. Drew, how was your week, man? Uh, my week was pretty decent. Uh, really good. That was up. Nah. Uh, <laughs> shit, nah, my week was pretty dope. Um, cut some hair, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been planning a lot. I got a trip coming up, so I've been planning. Where are you, you trying to go? I'm going to Miami. Miami? Yeah, yeah, because um, my birthday coming up. Where? Oh, shit, you did tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when's your That's birthday again? December 6th. Hmm? December 6th. December 6th? Yeah, so a couple weeks from one of my Oh, shit. I shouldn't even miss any podcast, so there's no reason to even talk about it again. Nah, I think we should talk about it, just in case. Like, Yeah, I'm about to be 24. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Word. Yeah, 24. Word. Word. Yeah. Okay, so I do want to say something be just because we're here. We got killed last week because of how you opened the podcast with Como Se Dice, and none of us knew what it meant. I knew what it meant when people were talking like to me after that, but in that moment, I didn't know. You know that Como Se Dice means how do you say in Spanish? All right, well, what do Guten Tag mean? Because that's how I opened it up today. <laughs> that's, that's Russian. Niggas, first of all, niggas just be hating because a nigga bilingual. Excuse me, you hating ass niggas. Excuse me. Yo, Come I got cursed out. Man. So many people, because, I, you know, I lived in Arizona, yeah. so I was surrounded by a lot of, you know, like Spanish-speaking people, so they killed me for that. Like, how you don't know that como se dice means how do you say. So I just wanted to say that. Uh, yeah. So uh, I guess forgive us for being ignorant to that. I don't, I don't want no forgiveness. Like I, I'm standing by that. Where I'm, 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 I'm I speak. <laughs> <my, laughs> like, like, oh, man. so uh, Guten Tag. Somebody says it means greetings in wait. German. Boom. So therefore, I'm right. Yeah, Ma- this time you're right. Mahalo, yeah. brother. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, Mahalo saying. now. Yeah, Yo, man. you're a nut. All right. So since nobody asks me, I'm just gonna tell you how my week was. How, did uh, you, how was your week? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, my week was good, man. My week was good. Um, the week off, you know, I I had to get a lot of stuff. I had to buy a I new wallet. I you got a new wallet. Yeah, yeah as I say, new wallet. <laughs> I got I had to get that. It's like corduroy texture. Yeah, it's it's, it's a nice ass wallet. Um, but I had to get that because you know, still never got my wallet back from the niggas that stole it from It'd me. Be like that. But um, I I did a, a men's haircutting class at Empire at my old school that I graduated from just what well, yesterday. So that was cool. Uh, giving back to to the you know the the youth. They're not really that much youthful. They're just. Mm-hmm getting into the hair the hair industry. So that was fun. That was fun. I posted on my Facebook and everything. So I enjoyed everything about that. Um, I fell a lot this week. 
you fell a lot. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, like you my, just fall on recklessly? Yeah, like, my equilibrium was off. Like, <laughs> like, like, I did a lot of falling. Oh. Like, I don't know why I fell. Like, I fell, like, four times. Like, For no reason. As an adult. I fell, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I felt like yesterday was I was, like, going to grab. Like, I went to go flip the open clothes sign and, like, almost fell all the way down. <laughs> and but, you're tall like me. Like, so it's yeah, a long-ass yeah, fall. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's a very long fall. <laughs> fall. I'm falling all over the place. Like, Weird. That's, that, that's that's my new thing. Is busting my ass all over. <laughs> I guess. I did that this week. All right. So real quick, because we're what two days two days away from Thanksgiving, right. which I got planned for Thanksgiving. I'm cutting and cuts is fifty dollars. We in the shop it. on I'm Thanksgiving. I right, am cutting. Oh no, but Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving. Remember, we got uh, we got the 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 turkey giveaway with Ron Rainey. Thursday, yeah. we got that from twelve to four. So I mean, you can get a cut at from eight to like ten. No, nah, also twelve to four. Wait, twelve, 12 to four. four yeah. Twelve to four turkey drive. We're I doing a turkey drive. drive. I really got to do that. Well, I was only going to go to work. So Where, thank right, you yeah. for um, um, twelve to four. I so be so we just gonna be going around Newark. Like so, we gonna. I mean, we are gonna talk with Ron and you know. Uh, get find, figure out where that rally point yeah. is, but we're gonna be giving out turkeys mind. from twelve to four, and I guess like after that, in between, you know, dinner. What's up? <laughs> I don't <laughs> mind, but I will be at work. Work. So, um, yeah, we are gonna do that, but God damn it, Louis J. Don't see me. Nah, they got you. They got you, damn. <laughs> All right, so shout out to to, to Louis J in the back. The shout out to Louis. Out hey, divorce again. You know what I'm saying? On all <laughs> all streaming platforms. Uh, Louis J. Nah, but um, yo, <laughs> you fucked me up. I wasn't even ready for that one. Yeah, nah, nah. I wasn't ready for that. We're giving out turkeys. Yes, yeah, we're back to turkeys. giving out turkeys right. with Ron yeah. Rainey. Uh, Thursday we're gonna be doing Ron that. Rainey. That's just this and is don't try to put, and don't try to pull up at the turkey drive. Knowing that you you're not home, you regular. Like if you like, <laughs> like, like if you got it, I ain't gonna hold you. I got limits. Like if you if you smell like Polo Cologne, you're not getting a haircut. <laughs> Shit like that. Are we doing haircuts? Uh, no, <laughs> we're just giving out turkeys. Oh. We're not cutting oh, we at not the drive. Nah, we nah, just, we nah, haircuts, we're just doing. Nah, we're just going around. We're just going around. We're just riding around and giving turkeys to like you know what I'm saying to families. So I don't even know if we're doing it. Can like, I homeless. get one of these turkeys? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> like normal. that. I'm not. What you mean normal? I'm not that. You're right normal. <laughs> Like you, you have like, polo you cologne. Like polo cologne. Exactly. I do not smell, I smell like Muslim oil. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, but you have polo cologne. Yeah, and if you don't, wear. you're wearing polo. So I'm wearing polo? Yeah. <laughs> this old. <laughs> oh, man. oh man. All right. So I ain't gonna hold you. Uh we're gonna get serious, man. I'm gonna switch it up. We're gonna take the, the podcast to the next level. Cause I had a question for you. I asked people on my Facebook today. But when did y'all fall in love with y'all self? Like when did y'all know that y'all loved who you are? And if y'all have, oh. that was great. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was great. Um, we gotta get used to those shits. We yeah, we stop, really do. We gotta stop reacting when he does that. Yeah, we, that's a fact. We're not or, used to. Yeah, we're not. I'm not a professor. Uh, I'm not a professor. I'm not a professor. <laughs> that's fair. I'm new to. Nah, but when did you when did you fall in love with yourself, and when did you know that you know you loved yourself really? Uh, I say probably. I'm gonna say I take it from here. Uh, Twenty one. Probably like twenty one. Uh, what like what did you like? How did you know up to that moment that you that you didn't love yourself, to some degree? I start. I could. I I didn't know. I, when I started loving myself a lot, is when I realized like that. I guess I didn't love myself as much before. And, and what I, was that defining factor? I started getting mad ass. <laughs> Like when I started getting the hoes, I was like, "Yo, I was like, yo, real talk." When I started getting the hoes, I like, told you when I like, came in here, he cannot be like, serious for like, shit. So like, I didn't like, expect I'm like dead any death. Like, I know you're eyes, serious. Boom. The thing is, like, I know you're serious. Before I wasn't getting that, like I was fucking a little bit. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, like I wasn't like getting the ass. But when I started like 20, 21, I started getting the ass. <laughs> Like you feel what I'm saying? You started getting the meats. Yeah, and then I started, then I started tagging, and then I started tagging them chicks that wasn't giving me the ass in high school. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god, look at you! Da -da -da -da. Like, bitch, I'm the same nigga. Like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. I'm sexy. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's when you started loving and you. That's when I started loving me. It was like, it was like, cause I went my whole life regular to ugly, and then I had a glow up. You feel what I'm saying? And once my glow up came, it was like, yo, I'm fine as hell now. You feel what I'm saying? So once I got fine. You feel me? When I when I became in, you feel me? Because there was a there was a whole time about the long dreads. I'm yeah, six, yeah. I'm six foot like three and some change. Mm -hmm. Feel me? I had the six pack going. Like don't, you can't tell now because I got titties, but <laughs> I had the six pack going. 
Sit, uh, dreads all long and shit. Sexy as hell. I was it. I was what they was looking for. Yo. You know oh, back when Waka Flocka, when, when Waka came out, that was that was that was your end. Yeah, you feel me? But Waka. I look better than him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna I let you have it. I'm gonna let you have it. I can, my I'm not... dreads, my dreads were longer and my body was better. Like I looked better than that nigga. I just didn't have understood. Money. You feel what I'm saying? Understood. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. So Dana, when did you when did you realize that you loved yourself, man? I was probably like sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. And how'd you know up to that point that you didn't love yourself? Or you didn't love yourself the way you do? Well, I I don't know really. It's cause I depended on like someone else for love. Okay. Instead okay. Of just, like, this is where I was yeah. going with you this. This is where I was going. Oh, All right, so you. so right, yeah, I was young. Yeah. Mad yeah. young. Yeah. And I'm young now. You were right. So like, all right. So what happened? Like, and then and I'm I'm gonna ask you another question too. But what happened? Like, it was just stuff at home. Stuff not at really home. like, like terrible stuff, mm-hmm. but just like you know. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then, Drew, real quick. Not, not hold on. All but, at home, but it's like you know, I was in high school. I'm right. a kid. Right. I'm growing up, it's like I don't know how to feel about this and that, and you know, just a bunch of stuff. Okay. But I would say the age of 16, and I'm 18 now. So this was two years ago. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah. All right. So I have a question for you, sir. What do you do now? And this is a serious question because you because you that trying to say I'm not that sexy no more. <laughs> That's what you were saying. I wasn't that, going. What that. do you do now? So you said no, no, no. Like, like, what do you, you don't look like that now. no more? So, <laughs> so, so what do you do now to make yourself feel better? No, no, better? no. But wow. what? No, what do you do? Like, well, I mean, yeah, that was kind of going along the lines, <laughs> but it wasn't how I was asking it. Like, what do you do now to show yourself that you love you? Like, what do you do now? Like, in what ways, or how do you actively show yourself that you love you? Um, actively, I spend a lot of money on myself. That is, that, oh, excuse me. I actively spend a lot of money on myself. Like, I, I spend, like, I mean, I guess everybody spend a lot of money mm-hmm. on themselves, but I spend, like, a lot of money on myself. Like, a lot more. Mm-hmm. Like, not, not to say a lot more, just, like, as far as, like, like I get mad at the shopping. Like, I'm, like, a fucking girl. Like, retail therapy is really my thing. So, it's, like. <laughs> That's, so like, it's yeah. Like, so I feel it's like, it. So, it's, like, I get upset, and it's, like, ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. You know I feel what I'm saying? It. Like, like to the point that like the people on Polo know me like in my heart. Like, oh yeah, no, they they already know your size and what with colors. You, yeah. yeah, I mean they already know they wait, but they don't even try to ask me to give you money yet because you know I'm looking for my coupons. Right, right, <laughs> you know right. Saying? Yeah, they know you well. Yeah. I feel <laughs> it. I feel so. Yeah, really, retail it. therapy is how you show. So uh, okay, but, but okay. As as loving myself though. Um, no, nah, I love the shit out of myself. I don't know to be honest with you. Like, uh, I don't come from. Um, like, I don't know. Like, my family don't got like low self esteem either. Like, we don't. I don't come from a long line of people who like my family thinks highly of themselves. Like, my, like I got like we talk about Thanksgiving. I'm foreign, so Thanksgiving not 100 percent a thing in my house. Like, right. they try to make it a thing, yeah. but it's like it almost becomes annoying because they're wrong. They do shit <laughs> wrong all the time. It's like, come on, let's just stop. We don't have to. Do we that. don't have to do this. <laughs> Cause yeah, because it, it's like. Who we doing this for now? Like you feel me? Like right. when I was younger, I understood it. Like when I was younger, it's like I, it makes sense. We did this so I could have the full American experience. But like and now, now you're like, adult. I'm grown. It's yeah. like, yo, who we doing this for? Stop! Come on, what the fuck? Put this. It's just a regular day for y'all. Yeah, yeah like not for that. I for yeah. that. I had that conversation today with a couple people because I was telling people, yo, you know, happy holidays. Niggas looked at me like, nigga, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm like, oh well, shit, I'm American. Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? I celebrate it. My bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like when you tell somebody like, oh well. Uh, God bless you, like nigga. I'm an atheist. Like, oh shit! Like you just fucked up my whole thing. I was trying to say to you, like, relax. So my question for you, Dana, like, how do you how do you actively show yourself that you love you? Uh, I come first. Honestly, that's probably it. Just making sure that you come first yeah. at any and all times. Like my feelings, my yeah, me. Period. Like in general, just okay. me. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Okay, well, you know, saying uh, I actively love myself now these days. You know, what I'm saying because I know y'all ain't gonna ask this, so I gotta. I was literally all about the that. way. How do you? How do you? I how gotta you, go all. How you the do way. that type of shit, sir? <laughs> Honestly, I will not. I know you wasn't. It's okay. It's okay. So I understand. I was about to. I, I, I was sipping my water. Oh, you taking a sip? You didn't give me a chance. No, my bad. My bad. I was ready to. Like, well, how do you get? Nah. That? So first, I want to say for me, I probably what age was I when I realized that I didn't love myself. I don't know. I, don't, I ain't trying to get too deep on you niggas. Um, I'm going to say probably like, I'm 30 now, so probably like 27. Like 20. I think it was when I realized like, I don't really got nobody. Like, realistically, I don't. Like, I have my family, but like, I really don't got anybody that's like, you know, that really goes out of their way to make sure I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm that person that always everybody comes to. 
So people come to me for, you know, advice, everything like that. But I really had nobody to go to or turn to. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I was like, you know what? And then also what I was doing. Like, I was doing dumb shit. I was doing real reckless shit. Like, and then being mad, like, damn, why am I so in this situation? Like, I would always have this, like, this revolving situation. Like, every year, you know how you make the, like, how you make the New Year's resolution? Mm-hmm. And then you get halfway through the year, like, damn, I ain't do shit. And it's like, you ain't do nothing to change it from not doing shit already. Like, you just, so then it's like, all right, cool, next year I got it. So I realized that I was, I was on a redundant and, like, a, just an insane, like, circle of just doing dumb shit. And letting you know people and situations always get the best of of me. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one of the things uh, a wise a wise man I, I forgot who said it, but someone was just like, "You can't build your house if you're always giving someone else your bricks." You know what I'm saying? So like, if you always giving your oh, bricks, out, how how can you how can you build a house? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gonna look around at you gonna look up at one point. Everybody else's house is built and yours isn't. You know what nah, I'm saying? For sure. Like it, it, it really, it, it do play into that shit too. Like, like um, like when it comes to loving yourself, like where it's like where it's like I, like you said, like Dave said, uh, I come first. Right. It's like it do take, it do take time, and sometimes you gotta look at yourself, not putting yourself first. We, you know what? And it's like I don't, I don't even notice that shit. Like, like I got my mother, I got my family, and, mm-hmm. and that's why I go out. Cause I like where it say I come first. I make sure I handle all my business. I got a lot of people depending on me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it grows aggravating to have to deal with uh, my um, my mother or my grandmother, right? Or having to like, I right, well, you need this, so I can't do this and shit like that. Right. That shit does become aggravating, especially when it, it, the negative shit coming on top of that. It's like, oh no, nah, this shit annoying as fuck. I can't deal with this shit. You get what I'm saying? But then it's like, but then it's like, oh shit, like you feel me? I can I can't the store like hey, like oh, I got an extra hundred dollars. Let me. <laughs> Right, right. Uh, now, you know what it is also? Because we're, you know, me and you, especially, like, we're both parents. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like as parents, like, we have to also keep that in check, too, because you can't really, like, love your kids the right way if you don't love yourself. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, you start neglecting your children. And sometimes, and it's hard to do it because, you know, as a parent, you got to be like, oh, your kids come first, your kids come first, your kids come first. But you, you know, that's a trap, like, low key, like, because you're, like, you if you don't like like if you don't love yourself obviously you can't love somebody if you don't love you right mm-hmm. but when you have a child and you have unconditional love for your child you tend to put your child first which you're supposed to do but at the end of the day when your child goes to sleep who do you who are you stuck with you know what I'm saying when your child is at school or when you're at work and everything like that and when you get done with your day on your way home who are you stuck with yeah. are you happy with that person if you're not happy with how can you be, you know what I'm saying, how can you raise your child the right way? Because, I mean, realistically, that uh, it goes back to, to thug life, you know, the, the hate you give ch- uh, with little infants uh, fucks everyone. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't love yourself, how can you love your child and make sure that your child receives love the right way for them to grow up? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... it's um, I like I like, I like like what Tupac said on Thug, though. What's oh, wait, I'm not bad. I switched subjects. Go no, go, no, no. I, I'm, oh, I'm you talking about the specific song? No, nah, I was just talking about Thug Life. Oh, go ahead. where? Go ahead, though. Nah, so, like, for me, personally, that's kind of where I, where I come, like, and I had to realize that for myself because, I mean, I mean, a little bit of insight. I'm, some people on the, you know, that know me personally know, like, I have two kids with different mothers, and neither one of my kids are in this state. You're a black dude, bro. It's okay. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that from him. I, 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 I was, but I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but, like, like I so... Just cause you talk proper don't mean he ain't a regular <laughs> nigga like the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so like I'm a father to two kids and I, you know, they have different mothers and they don't live in the state as me. And that's sh- that right there kills me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I see fathers interact with their kids and I don't get to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I look up to like Louis. I look up to Louis and Chris. You know what I'm saying? Because not only are they black men, they're black men that have been, they're black men that are fathers, they're black men who have, you know, watch. You know what I'm saying? They got, they, they, they adults. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right so we're going to talk about because they got a business. Because <laughs> I was left out of that, but it's cool. All right, it's okay. Like, it's because they got a business. Yeah. Is that what it is? 
<laughs> nah, so you know, I, I own that store. It's all right. It's cool. Go ahead. Go. Go ahead. Right, cool. It's cool. Go ahead. It's all right. Yeah. You got yeah. a really supply store. Yeah, nah, leave me out. Yo. Leave me out. Leave me out. Leave me out. Yo. Nah, nah, yo. You, you, know, you know, we're going to get into the fact that you always, like, he swear I be dissing him. I be <laughs> sneak dissing him at all you points in that time. Right, right, yeah, right. <laughs> 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 nigga swears I be sneak dissing him. Nah, cool. well, back to what I was saying. Um, <laughs> oh, to shy away from that. Nah, so like, with that being said, like, I see how they interact with their kids, and I see how you interact with your child as well. Sometimes, because I don't like we don't actively hang out as we should. We should probably do that more. That's going to be another conversation for a different type of time. We're not going to do this in front of company and shit. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, <laughs> nah. So I, I watch fathers interact with their kids, and I would love to do that with my sons, but I can't. But also, I can't be in the states that my sons are in right now. Because those states, I can't make the money that I'm making here, per se. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could probably do that in Vegas, but I would have to start at the bottom and then rework that all the way up to where I'm making money now. You know what I'm saying? So that would, it wouldn't behoove me to do that. And then when my, my oldest son, he's in Tennessee, in fucking backwoods, where the fuck am I going to be getting 30 $35 a cut in the backwoods of Tennessee? It's not happening. You know what I'm saying? So... Like that's that's kind of where that comes from. So I really had to also realize that you know what I have to love myself and realize that what I'm doing is for my kids and I'm not just neglecting my responsibility as a father. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So for me, 27 was the was the age that I realized that I you know I didn't love myself the way I should have before and I should probably like get get in line. But it was actually un- like 30 is when I really started actively like you, you showing love. Know, another thing I can say that helped me so I. Uh, that let, help me love myself is realizing I can take care of myself. Like, like growing up, mm-hmm. like you really love yourself when you like. I always, I never been one to, to uh, ask for money. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying as far as like, like ask for money on the regular and stuff like that. Like, you know, right. Like, my grandmother for like I, I was raised with my grandparents and they had no problem giving me almost anything I asked for. But I also didn't ask for a lot. Like I always had my own or whatever. You feel me? Maybe right. like two dollars here and there, or whatever. Grandma definitely took a nigga like clothes shopping, back to school, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. But as far as, like, uh, everything else, I kind of just was independent in a sense. Like, I never asked for shit. But, um, <laughs> it's just realizing, like, oh, shit, I was a bum this whole time, but I didn't notice. Like, uh, like I didn't start taking care of myself till I was, like, 27. Right. 27. Well, I mean, also, we, we mature later. So, like, we kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But it's like, where it's like, like. Do you have before. siblings? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you, but like, you have siblings? Or just you? Uh, yeah, but we just starting to know each other. That's okay, totally so for thing. no, but with your mother, like, so with your for your nah, mom, it's just, me. It's it's just, just you. Me. I mean, I got, all right, boom, but I got, a, I got, a, um, I got a bunch of uh, cousins. And okay, okay. Raised, and Dana, you, are you an only child? Or? I got three older sisters. Okay, boom. So you're the baby. Yeah. All right, but all right. So I'm. I, I have more. You know, most uh, there's nine of us, like all together in my mom's kids. But the reason why I ask though, and I didn't mean to cut you short. The reason why I ask is because we mature later. Like so, like for me, I'm my old, I'm my grandma's oldest grandson, so I'm the one that's spoiled. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So like, since, you know what I'm too, saying? Yeah. So we're spoiled to a sense where it's like some of the things and some like I have that conversation with my aunt all the time. Like she like you gotta grow up, like bitch. I just got I just became a real adult. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Don't get it fucked like, up. It's like I was living with my grandmother this whole time. Mm-hmm. I had no bills to pay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, fuck before shit. I don't even I wasn't even paying my own cell phone bill mm-hmm. up until like twenty five. Like, you know what I'm saying? Until I wanted to upgrade my phone and she wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, you know it's like, saying? oh, shit, so you ain't gonna do this for me? So, all right, well, I'm gonna go get my own plan. You know right, what I'm right. <laughs> Before that, I didn't pay my old cell mm-hmm. phone bill. So, it was like, and then after that, I was mad that I did it. It was like, I could have stuck with that old phone, man. <laughs> now I gotta right, pay right. this fucking bill. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that was actually kind of one of those first things. Like I said, I, I don't, I, I, like, I ask and they don't have a problem giving to me, but I've never been one to stray away from getting things on my own. So, like, you ain't gonna do it for me, I'm gonna do it myself. Right. Um, so like, it wasn't, I ain't start, like, like I said, like 27, where it's like, all right, I gotta pay this, I gotta pay that, but I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And then I'm sitting there, and then like, after I paid all my bills, I still had enough money to hit Polo. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It was like, I, yo, it. I, I love myself, yeah. Yeah. I'm I doing, like, I'm, I, could, it, I could be doing worse. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and even the fact that like, it was like, cause it, you know, my money comes from my savvy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. With the haircut and with everything I do, it comes from like I don't have an hourly, so it's not like I like oh I didn't put the time in. It's like right. I gotta put forth the effort. You have to, yeah. We yeah, really you gotta put forth that effort. So when you put forth that effort and you mm-hmm. really get back, 
the uh, the the fruits of your labor. The fruits of your labor. But I'm sitting here like, look at all this shit. I got every premium channel, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. You got all the streaming apps. All the oh, thousands. Yeah, I'm saying mm -hmm. Hulu in here, Netflix in here. Ain't I ever gotta you know ask saying? nobody for their login. I yeah, feel it. You yeah. Feel me? No. I just got to go clothes shopping. Baby got on low. I'm low down. Right, right, you right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, Jordan's on. Say like. I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm Word. feeling real good. Like you I know what I'm saying? I feel good, so, good. so your love language is definitely gifts. No, it's not about gifts. It's about being well, I mean, able you to gift yourself. No, gift I'm saying, myself. No, I'm uh, saying yeah. so your love language. People can't is give like, me gifts because I'm I, like everything I want too expensive. And if and like and it's like if I can't, I, I ain't gonna hold like, you. I say if, the same thing. It's like if I can get it, I got it already. So like Word. usually, like you know what I'm saying? It's like what you want for your birthday? Uh, I don't want the fuck. Go buy, go buy him. Mm. Like don't buy, don't even don't don't attempt to buy me. Again. Nah, cause I it's not. You, I don't you, got the money. You, you, you can't don't reach what I can, what I want. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I, 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 I have that, that issue like, too. I'm trying to spend. I'm trying to like you feel. Me? I'm trying to spend some racks on the shit that That's I want. That's a fact. And the shit that and the shit that you can't afford, I most likely got already. Mm -hmm. So save your money. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Go buy Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy Hennessy. Yeah, I mean, Let me drink this shit away. Yeah. Now nah, I feel it. It's not no for me. So now actively, what I do to to show love to myself is I take time. I just take time, like. I take moments to just sit with myself. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know if I told you. I told you the other, like, uh, I think last week. There's times where I listen so to opera. So about Dude, yo. Because I tell you, sometimes after that, I kind of hate myself. To be honest. <laughs> 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 no, nah, hey, real shit. No, you do hate yourself after masturbating. <laughs> like, you be sitting there like, Ew. yeah, like, you disgusting, uh, nigga. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> nah, nah, you ever be uh, tired after masturbating? <laughs> you be not wanting to get up. You be like, uh, nah, with the beat of sweat, up. with the beat of sweat dripping down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah sitting there, sitting about. there, like, nah, I gotta clean this shit up. Yo, shirt around, yo. The, shirt around your stomach like this. Like. I ain't gonna hold you. Look, all right, check this out. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. All right, and this is fuck it. We just gonna be honest. All right. I do not masturbate in my room. Why? I masturbate in the bathroom. Why? The, the cleanup is less. I feel you. I, <laughs> like, tell you. The cleanup is I a lot less. Like, why am I going to masturbate in my room? <laughs> I have to grab a towel. I got nut on my shirt or on my damn, on, you know what I'm saying? On, on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got well, I, You got you to gotta put, see, what I do is I put a towel down. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You feel I have me? to, I have to it's not like I'm fucking. Towel. It's not like I'm fucking, like, it's like, Aim that shit, cuz, before you, like, you feel it coming. No, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying, though, no, 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 what I'm saying, though, is I have to, why, why, make, why make the mess when I can just do this shit in the bathroom, shoot it straight into the motherfucking toilet, wipe my dick off, go about, like, take my face and like go I'm about my day. I feel like I'm more of a mess doing that. Like, you, you ain't got good aim? Huh? You aim ain't good? I, I'm assuming. I don't know if it's that. You aim it straight into the toilet? <laughs> I ain't got that. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. And it depends on what I eat. It also depends on what you eat. You're trying aiming it to the toilet shit all on the back of the toilet. Now that's a whole different cleanup. <laughs> you gonna leave it there? Oh, you feel me? Now gosh. you gotta clean that shit up different. Yeah. In the bathroom, a public area. You feel what I'm saying? Like in my bedroom, I lock it, I could chill. I don't gotta, lock the bathroom I don't door. Even, I don't even gotta clean up right away <laughs> in my room. You could wait a minute. You can smoke a Yo. cigarette. You can chill. You can find what you about to watch. Cause now that you now that you done, because you wasn't because you wasn't rushing this yeah, shit. Yeah, now nah, I feel it. Let me throw a family guy, then clean this up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> Yo, I did not wow. expect it to turn that way. That <laughs> shit went left. Oh my god, I did not yeah. expect it. Nah, what I was. <laughs> Yo, no, what I was saying was. I, I can't even say how, how I love myself no more. This nigga talk about masturbating. Yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, I look like so. I, I I take time for myself. So I listen to like I f I I found a love for like opera music. Like I literally fuck with opera music. So there'll be times where I listen to opera music and I'll ignore. I, like I'll put my phone and do not disturb, and just listen to opera. I don't know why, because I don't understand shit. I do that, not with opera. But it sounds fucking amazing. And I'm just in my thoughts. Like, I can actually, like, it's my time to just detox. And also, I skate. Y'all niggas know that. I skate all the fucking time. So that's where I relieve a lot of no, my I stress and my thoughts. So, like, that's where I can, like, it's just me, the floor, and the music. I was a nicer guy when I skateboard. I should probably get back into that. You should probably get back into that. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm okay with being mean, though. Yeah, but I mean, you're a different person. You cut your hair, so you, like technically, you cut off a lot of your anger. 
Nah, that's not how that works. Yeah, to me, <laughs> I feel like, my thing is I feel like I got more angry. I ain't even gonna hold you. <laughs> well, yeah, because you don't like that you have short hair now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I got more angry. I just I just got this I just got this upbeat personality, so people be forgetting and give you uh, it's annoying being like a nice guy and an angry guy at the same time, bro. Yeah, you you je- you're Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. Yeah, like, you wouldn't even believe because I'll be flipping on people and they'd be like, what's wrong with this nigga? It's like nothing wrong with me, bro. You just said some bullshit. Like, <laughs> you just said some bullshit. Like, like, like ask you some crazy shit. Uh, like, like I'll just use a cutting gym example. Right? Mm-hmm. They could be like, oh, wait. You said it's 25? Yeah. Oh, I got 22. That's cool. And he'd be like, nah. And they'd be like, and it's not even that, it's not even that you did you mind that you mind being the 22. It's the way that you came about asking me. Right. Yeah. Oh, I got 22. That's cool. No. Nah, nah, it's not cool. Not at all. Like, word, word. Like, <laughs> it's it's not like you taking, like, I can afford to take a $3 shit in a haircut, but mm-hmm. fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like the fuck? Since you know what, no since, cuts that at forty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, since y'all, since we got to ha- all the way back to haircuts from this, I I do have to bring up. We got a sponsor this week. Oh yes, we got oh, a sponsor yeah. this week. week. We got a sponsor this week. Uh, we had a tool week, and this was by way of you. So I'll, I'm gonna let you go ahead and kick that off, like and how that whole thing came about. Uh, shit, but we got um. A sponsor from uh, House of Beauty Supply Disposable Razors, HBS Disposable Razor on mm-hmm. Instagram, HBS underscore Disposable Razor on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Yeah. Not shout out to them. They had they sent uh, what? They sent us what? A couple boxes, right? They sent us like, they sent us like uh, three boxes of their razors to try mm-hmm. out and uh, give our honest opinion. Right. Uh, and what is your honest opinion? Honestly, I'm fucking with him. The blade itself is good. I'm fucking with him. We fu- like uh, I'm fucking with him. So all I, I, all I've been using lately. Yeah. It's it's easy and it's like, would you say it's easier than using uh, a straight razor, like a, a traditional I mean, straight it, razor? It's literally a straight razor, like it's not really different, mm-hmm. but it, it's just it feels better to me personally. Okay, because uh, I would say with y'all, y'all like the, the heavy razor. Me, is, I like it lighter. It's just, it's just that's it's just that was my piece. Cu- that was my pro- that, that was that was my piece. It's just that I'm going to custom to like I like I like the uh, like the disposable aspect. That's mm-hmm. just pretty cool. Yeah, that the fact that like you take the whole amazing, head off. Yeah. Like even like you, you don't think because we change the blade between every customer anyway. But it's just like this does just seem to add like an extra level of uh, sanitation that be and confidence have, to your client. Like yeah. your client feels like oh shit. Okay, I, like he I honestly feel like a lot of my clients didn't even notice that I'm using something a little different. Not for that. I feel yeah, that. That's okay though. It doesn't yeah. matter. Me personally, I. I I like the concept. Mm-hmm. I like the concept of the actual of the entire tool. It's the weight that really upsets yeah, me. Yeah, the weight, like if because they it feels like I'm not saying that it feels cheap, but it's it's so light. No, that's a good way to put and it. And I can't like that light. Like I like my my razor. The razor that I use mm-hmm. is um, Exotics. Exotics is the actual brand of that of that that razor, but like it's heavy. It's a heavy razor. So. The amount of pressure that I have to apply to my razor is minimal. Where I feel like with that, because I, you know, obviously we all used it, I feel like I had to apply more pressure, and that gave me the opportunity to possibly slice somebody, mm-hmm. and that's terrifies well, not, me. Not with me. Not well, with no, but 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 you like the you like yeah. the lighter, so you know the the proper amount of pressure to use. The only thing, yeah, it would be the only the only complaint I have would be like just the, um, the weight of the handle. Right. So if they, get, if they if they add like a like weighted, yeah, like a weighted handle, like I could buy for a couple. It couldn't be more than like ten dollars. Also, mm. one other thing, I like exposed blades, and those blades are like you can't like you see it, but you can't really see it. You know what I'm saying? I, said this, I like exposed blades too, but it's like. It's such a dramatic change in texture, from because it's it's plastic to a metal blade. Right. It's such a dramatic blade in texture that even though it's not an exposed blade, I feel like like the fact that it's literally a piece of plastic to a piece of metal, mm-hmm. like I can like and it's black to gray. Like you know what I mean? Like like I see that shit. So that's probably like, that's probably the thing that I didn't realize that I do like. It's probably because it's not really exposed. Whereas mine that I was using before mm-hmm. were. And I didn't really like it because it's like, I don't know. It's it's better to me. Okay. Like, well, I exposed. mean, shout out to them. I yeah. appreciate them for sending us, you know. I get, it, I get know. it closer without, with knowing that I'm not going to cut. Whereas with the exposed way, I, you I, feel like I, you're I gonna cut. cut more, yeah. I feel that. I feel so you feel like you you cut more than you want to cut. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. No, I feel that. I feel that. Well, yeah, shout right. out to shout out to to the them. Supply, For real, that's that was great. Out, that was love. I suggested. 
Yeah, nah, I definitely suggest it too. I just hope that they um, I I fifty percent suggest. It. I just hope that they send us. Um, I hope they make like a, if they made a, a, a weighted handle, mm-hmm. this should be my permanent thing. You can like put my name time. if y'all are watching this. <laughs> Thank you on the handle. Yeah, that'd be hard. Yeah, oh, especially you. if they made a personalized, Word. that'd be that'd be dope. That would be I, great. I, I, that promise Bar- you. They, hey, Barbers hey. love putting their name in I'm cursive. Not, I'm not using that's a fact. Else. That's a fact. We love putting our names on. Barbers love having. Let it let it be in cursive too, because you know niggas don't write in cursive no yeah. more. So like, if you get it in, in that cursive script, I don't it, even know how to write in cursive. My stupid ass, I ain't even gonna hold you. I used to I only forgot. write in cursive. I forgot how to write in cursive. I, I tried. I tried like two years ago. And was like, nah. Nah, I can still write in cursive, but I prefer it's to mad, write in all mad. caps. It's mad. I don't know I why. That's, that's, I write yeah. in all caps. You probably caps. just write mad sloppy. Do that. Not even. Yeah, not sloppy, even. No, yeah. I, I actually write yeah, pretty, sister. pretty legible and pretty well. It is just I just like writing in all caps. I got, and the, I got the neatest handwriting I know personally. All right, we're gonna put that to the test, man. We're gonna put that to put that one to they the test. They talk a lot of shit. He bro. really <laughs> do. Like he comes in on some day. slick, like, yeah, nah. like oh, let me Minimal. tell y'all how we not oh, talking about yes, this race. Yes, I'm yes. not in the foot race this week. Yo, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> that was on the page. Up, I will get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, young yeah. bull got beat hey, in a foot you know, race. Done, get up and leave, nigga. Don't matter. <laughs> I beat him in a foot race. I beat him in the foot race. You, you, we always go all the way through the podcast and I talk about it. Yeah. Had, to, had to beat this, had to school this nigga in the foot race. That shit know. was hilarious. We I went, though, no, look, Listen. when, uh, all right, let me be honest. I let didn't me, expect me hear, that to happen. Let me hear Josh outside perspective. I didn't right expect quick. that to happen. Because I, I went to the to the finish line. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to count it down and y'all going to race. <laughs> so all out the gate, Dana had you, right? So I'm like, okay. But when y'all got to that black car, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if this nigga Drew's second win kicked in, but this nigga just started going. I'm like, oh, shit. And then I'm like, so, no, the funniest shit, because this nigga ran past Dana and, like, flicked him off at the same time. Ran oh, past. That said, shit was hilarious. Ran I, I ran past. I said, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. Bruh. Yo, <laughs> yo, nigga got beat by. Oh, that was yo, hilarious. So, boom, me and Dane sitting in the shop. We talking. I forgot how we got the foot races. But Dane said, I'll beat you, bro. And I'm like, Dane, you're fat. How you going to beat me? <laughs> he was like, he, no, matter of fact, scratch that. I didn't say it like that. I was like, Dane. You gonna beat me, cuz? Like, you like, I watch you eat all that shit, cuz? You ain't gonna beat me in no foot race, cuz? Like, you got a healthy dude. He like, bro, listen. He cutting here. He like, bro. I go listen. to the gym every night. Bro, he like, bro, listen. That's one of the things I said. He like, bro, listen, you're old. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, said that. I, also, I also want a rematch. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. I'm like, damn, you think you can beat me in first race? Like, bro, you're 30. <laughs> and went back to cutting hair. I was like, well, nigga, let's go race. <laughs> nah, Dana, Dana be saying the illest shit, but he said it's like one liners and it's just real quick. Like, if you don't catch it, like, you don't know he just dissed the fuck out of you. <laughs> yeah. Like, like slow it down. I just dissed you. Like, he don't know. Like, yo, this nigga stay be doing that, yo. He said, you're 30. <laughs> he kept on cutting. Like, he wasn't even trying to joke. <laughs> Yo, um, oh shit, oh shit, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Um, thank you to everyone who participated in the coat drive that we were doing with Visionary Combos. Mm-hmm. So thank you to everyone who participated in that coat drive and gave your coach a new and used coach. Got dropped them off. We uh, all the proceeds actually went to the Salvation Army. So you know we we out here just trying to give back to let's the community. Send prayer, let's send our prayers to the city. Yes, yes, yes. Cut creators. Yo. They just went through. We, we, we actually had a couple of them Yo. at our shop this week while they was going. Rest in peace to uh, Sabor Towns. I, I apologize Boy, if I'm saying his name wrong. So rest in peace to the Towns family as well as the, the Cut Creators family. Because yeah, yeah. from what I understand, like, y'all know I'm new here. Yeah. But, you know, Cut Creators has a huge imprint on Jersey. Yeah. Newark to be exact, but Jersey as a whole. They have yeah. a big stamp. And that's and some crazy shit to happen. Like, that was a, I don't even want to. I, I I don't even want to like get into yeah. what happened, but I definitely want to say rest in peace to uh, to the town's family and we at Fly Nation, as well as Clippers and Convos, as a podcast, we send our condolences to you as well as the Cut Creators family, because yeah. that is, yeah. I would never wish death on nobody, especially yeah. in the way that that happened and everything that went on. And it on made in the that. city look crazy. It definitely made the city look yeah. crazy, because like, it, and then with such a staple. You know, Especially in the, in the a community, place like that, and it's a barbershop. It's supposed to be, yeah, barbershop supposed to be like what's the what's Switzerland. The, it's supposed Switzerland, to be. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Barbershop supposed to be Switzerland in the hood. So like, that's yeah, fucked up. And Damn, it make it make niggas feel 
fucked up. Like, I don't, know I don't even, shit. like, honestly. I still feel safe, but you know, it's because I'm a thug. Right, that, right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like, other than that. We got to find something to, to segue out of these somber conversations because that, that, like, that, I'm like, uh. Damn, you know what? Yeah. I was about to jump into something, but it's really, it's rough when you talk about Yeah, when you go Talk that. about some more of our charitable shit, and then I'll go back to masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about um, the turkey drive. Oh yes, the turkey drive. So I will say that again. So the turkey drive. We are doing Turkeys. on Thanksgiving. Ron Rainey third annual food Turkeys. drive. We'll be going around Newark giving turkeys away. Contact Ron Rainey uh, for any donations. Anybody who wants to volunteer because we are still taking volunteers. So definitely, definitely, if you feel uncharitable at the beginning of Thanksgiving, and I want to see a lot of uh, my my brothers and sisters of color, because you know, damn well you're not eating or doing nothing until dinner anyway, so 12 to 4, come out and help us give back to people in the community or of Newark. Come or to Fly Nation Grooming Lounge and get your hair cut. <laughs> Wait, we gotta be there from 12 to 4? 12 to 4. You, I'm pretty sure that we can get out there probably, you can be from like 12 to like 2.33. You know what I'm saying? Let's not complain right now. <laughs> It's not, it's not the place. It's, it's not the place or the time. No. Okay. So I do want to go back to this to this coat drive because we did this coat. We did this coat drive. People bring up coats. You know what I'm mad about? I still ain't got my goddamn sweater. And some of you may know the story. Some of you may not. What's sweater? Mm-hmm. So a while ago, I was entertaining a young lady, and I don't care if she hear the podcast or not. Right? Mm-hmm. We stopped entertaining each other because she did some real nut shit. Real nut shit. I'm not even gonna get into that. But she still has my sweater, which is a one of one. I was the only person to get this goddamn sweater for this brand, right? And to this day, now mind you, we stopped entertaining each other back in like oh, man. the summer. It was still hot out here. Mm-hmm. She, no, I lied. She's had that sweater since like the end of winter. I want that fucking sweater back. Oh, she was to give it to me Sunday. Did you ask for it back? Yeah, yeah, Multiple yeah, yeah. times. You mean, you Yes, this last winter that we just had. Because I'm about to say, we're in winter. No, we're in fall. <laughs> winter hasn't started yet. I ain't trying to get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but th- so, so the reason why I bring that up is because have y'all been in a situation? I'm pretty sure it's a yes. But if you could explain, ha- have y'all been in a situation never, where never, a girl never, has kept your shit after y'all broke up never, or stopped entertaining one ask, another? I don't ask for it back. You, never, you yeah, never, back? A, never a one on one. I have to, I'll tell you this. All right, boom. So, fuck it. All right. <laughs> The first girl I was in love with, right? She left a few items of clothing at my house. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I slept with them shits for like a month. Like I'm talking about, like slept with them in the bed. Like I uh, had her scent and shit. Oh wow! Oh, I, can't imagine. I can't imagine seeing you. Crying. That's a I don't sick sight. I don't yeah, I was, that is. I was like six... 17, bro. It was rough. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Yeah. That's no, not. Wasn't now. That's not the Drew I know. Nah, that's dude, definitely I'm not the truth. I'm telling you, bro, I'm soft, my nigga. That's soft why I'm like this. That's why I'm like this. Oh, that's why you're soft. These hoes ruined me. I used to be a nice, <laughs> used to be a nice guy. Yeah. But I used to buy gifts and shit. Nah, she did tell me that she still like she Come sleeps. Come through with chocolate. Nah, I'm gonna tell you some sick shit. Ready for some sick shit? You want some sick? Yeah. I'm gonna right. tell you some sick shit that this girl told me. So she wears that sweater every night, right? That's but she thing. has a whole boyfriend. I asked her. Posting if, pictures in it and videos and all that. Let me ask. So I asked yeah, her. I said, I "Yo, relate. so how does he feel? 100%. How does he feel about you wearing my sweater?" And she goes, "He doesn't know it's yours." Bruh. Oh. I remember I used to mess with this girl one time, and she Damn. came down in some boxes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck boxing you do?" And she like, "Oh, these mine." I'm like, "Yo, where the fuck you get those?" And she like. Nah, I had like you know girls be having boxes like nah. Yeah, no, 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 you got them those from come somebody. In a pack, bitch, them hates. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm that's a fact. You know the hates yeah. come in the three packs that's a three at the pack. least. How you only got one hang pair of boxes? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nah, like, so she told me that shit. I'm like, yo, like so, you know what she what she ended up telling me in the end. The reason why she keeps on holding on to my sweater is because if she gives me my sweater back, she won't hear from me. Which is the motherfucking truth. Like I just want my sweater at this point. I've waited. I the east and got cold again. You know what I'm saying? It got fleece in the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's a real nice, warm sweater. You know what I'm saying? Like you almost could wear that sweater when it's like 40 degrees out with nothing over, and you just wear the um the thermal that you get from the bodegas. All of our jersey people will know what what them. Endearus. Right. Yep, Endearus. Yeah, you can wear that and that sweater and be perfectly fine. This bitch still got my sweater. And I don't even like calling her. She probably didn't want it no more. She probably don't watch it, but motherfucker. Nah, she just told me that. She, no, so she so last Sunday, extra. you know when she was somebody supposed to bring watched a skater. it, but extra, that changed the whole texture of the, the shit. You don't even want that shit no more. 
I know I want that sweater. She that got, is a one of one. I want I'm that saying, sweater. But if she washed it with extra, no fabric softener. You I'm gonna be pissed. No, no exactly. I'm gonna be pissed because she disrespected my sweater. <laughs> but I want that <laughs> fucking sweater back. Nah, because that's I, nah, that's no, nah, I got that's sentimental value. She dried it on high heat. It's over. Mm. <laughs> so over. I mean, when you play like that, <laughs> now nah, it doesn't. It does, it, it's upsetting. It's it's really upsetting. But now I've been trying to get this sweater back, and I really want it back because at the end of the day, it's it was mine in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it wasn't meant for you to keep. I accidentally left it there on some. I had to leave really fast, and it was matter of fact, it was towards the end of the winter. The reason why I remember that because at night it was cold as shit, but that morning it was hot, so I really need the sweater. I don't get undressed on that girl's houses unless we comfortable, comfortable. Well, I was comfortable. I mean, how comfortable? I wasn't wearing a condom. I don't take my shirt off until after like a year. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Year? So you wear a shirt while you fucking? I mean, yeah, most of the time. Yeah, like a tank top or something. Yeah. Or a t-shirt. So y'all niggas don't get butt ass naked when you fuck? Ah <laughs> no. <laughs> really? That's y'all don't get butt ass naked. I still have my shoes that's, on, man. That's kind of awkward to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, you know, that's a butt ass naked. That's mad weird to me. Nigga. What? Like what I, I don't even say y'all be fucking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. My, so pants don't go, my pants be round my ankles most of <laughs> What so I look like naked. I only take them from right Wait, 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 wait. And I so, her ass so, no, no, naked. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Like, what kind of shit is that? You were some nut shit. So y'all, yeah. so you want her butt ass naked, but you still, but you still on the way out. Like, you're not even sure if you want to stay in the pussy <laughs> that long. Like, that's, that's, that's where you I, at? Yeah, what if I come fast? I don't want to, I don't want to have to, I got to get dressed. That was my fault. It, like, it's easier to be like, oh shit, my bad. Pull him right up. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Nah. Feel me? Yeah. And now I'm already fully dressed. Yo. You know never, never have I been fully naked. Wow. Nah, so I've you been out fully here like these, a lot. Wait, wait. So you like you out here because I have this issue with women who who like like the girls who have like they not too happy with their body or their mothers like oh I got I got stress marks, bitch. If you don't take I like, this, all I like, this shit I like, off, boom, like you know, that, like, it's not gonna stop me from wanting to fuck. Time to time, right? Like when a fat bitch got a tank top on, mm-hmm. I like to just let the titties out the top. <laughs> you feel me? And keep the stomach covered up. Yo! You know what I'm saying? Yo, so you so so what the stomach fucks it all, fucks up the whole And don't fuck it up, but they look better when the stomach covered up. But the titties out the top. These are the words. Flop of them joints out. <laughs> Drew. Oh. Drew. Dote Holmes. These are the words of Drew. Oh, Dote yeah, Holmes. Yo. Oh. I didn't say that shit. Yeah. Nah, but I, I really do get... Y'all really don't get butt-ass naked when y'all fucking? That's crazy. Wifey, maybe. It depends. How comfortable you got to be with a woman to get butt-ass naked to fuck yeah, I just told you a year. <laughs> like, we got to fuck at least 20 times. 20? I, I, gotta I mean, fuck. how often do you fuck a year then? Because, I mean, 20 times, you can do that in, in like a month. You can do that in like two weeks, depending on how you fucking. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how much old shit in a year. I don't know how comfortable I'm trying to get this bitch. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, so you just fucking bitches that you don't know if you're going to get comfortable with them? Yeah, you, you, you be fucking bitches just know you're going to get comfortable immediately. <laughs> I'm only fucking you if I'm comfortable with you. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, what? No. I show up to girls' houses with guns. <laughs> Fuck that. That's oh, yeah, no, un- no, you did say that. That's how uncomfortable yeah. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be you like, did tell if me this girl, story. If a girl give me the pussy Yo. too fast, <laughs> if she give me the pussy too fast, I put a gun out. <laughs> just in case. Bitch, you ain't about to line me up. All them niggas you about to call, let them know. Look, this is how I came in. Hey, what's up, baby girl? Blah. Oh my god. What you was trying to do? Let me roll up now. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I'm acting regular. I'm not even trying to. <laughs> I'm not even trying to intimidate you. I'm. I, I really am trying to intimidate you. <laughs> but I'm. I'm. I'm doing it so nicely though. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like it's like y'all only. Only. Like like when you meet a girl, like y'all even talking like two days, and you about to go over there get some bun. It's like mm-hmm. hell no, bitch. You trying to set me up? I don't trust you. So bring the gun. All right, so <laughs> fuck it. Since we're here, I might as well. We're just going to talk about it. Look, all right, so y'all know me. I come from the South. I lived in Arizona. <coughs> I've been around, like, white folk. Like, I never had a fear of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, really. Like, I have had instances where I was, like, in bad situations, but I've never been in a situation, like, I, like with a woman where I felt like that, like that type of fear. And you, I remember you told me about, like, one of your mans or somebody getting, like, Getting lined up by a woman like like yeah, that got killed up, yeah. like I had never experienced that so for me I don't feel a need to be bring a gun but I realize now living here I probably should like get with the shits because like yeah, niggas really barber, be out here probably think you got a lot of cash and then you you know you meet a girl you don't know her like that she, and you all a nice guy and shit right you show up to her house and some shit 
fuck around. You know, you like paying cell phone bills and shit. You done paid a bill a couple <laughs> times and shit. Do not Next like paying know. cell phone bills. Next yeah. thing you know, y'all she gonna stop. Like, Yo, look, I don't make that much money. I gotta make <laughs> enough it. money to pay child support. You know what I'm saying? Pay my bills and possibly go on a vacation once a year. Like that's it. That's it. I even got the Tesla. I still want to get that Tesla. Like it's under it's under fifty thousand. Like that's a good ass. It's crazy. You know? No, that's still too much. <laughs> All I'm saying is, damn, I forgot what I was saying. Good, <laughs> good. I don't know what you was about to say, but I'm happy that you forgot it. So, boom. Do we got anything else we want to talk about? Anything else we got to cover? No. Or are we getting the fuck up out of here? Forty dollars Thursday. <laughs> Forty dollars on Thursday. Forty dollars Thursday. I'm in get there him, from eight get to twelve. You can. I'm in there from eight to twelve, and then from four to maybe like seven, because I might have to go meet up with my family right quick. Nah, I feel it. All right. No. But, uh. I'm going to tell you, next week, oh, wait, before we get out of here, Dana, I got a question for you. Yeah. You and your girl are still together, right? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so are you wearing condoms yet, or are you still not wearing condoms? No. Damn it. Why not? Why would he change his mind? Like, <laughs> exactly. I, I'm trying to, I, once you hear some <laughs> shit raw, <laughs> i tell you this. If a girl <laughs> tell me to put a condom on, we find to just break up. <laughs> the fuck is you doing? What you don't trust me? The fuck? No, so Dana, like. All right, so if Did you, you still, cheat on me, okay, bitch? okay, okay. So you still, so you still fucking raw. All right, cool. Did you at least like do like? Do you still like going off of, uh, like the three stroke one, or are you leaving five to six? Like, because remember we had that talk. Yeah, we had that talk. No, no, you're not. You still going off the threes? You still yeah. like right, right there at peak, ready to, and you just pull. Right. Heard you. <laughs> yeah. Think I trust me. <laughs> like I said last time. <laughs> <laughs> you got too much trust in yourself. Um. I don't think I have anything. I think everything else that I have, we're going to save for next week. Um, we go, Next week, we definitely, well, next week, yeah, we got, next podcast, we got, definitely got to talk about what what we know when when time gets slow at the shop. I think we're going to have fun with that one. What you mean? Uh, just like what, like what we do, like when ain't nobody in the shop. Like, we Nick- race. <laughs> <laughs> getting a rematch. He's just he really wants that rematch. Want rematch. He looked you dead I'm in the so eye serious. too. Just so you do, <laughs> nigga. I ain't playing. We racing on God. Yeah, <laughs> on God and them. I'm about to beat Dane like five times. Yo, all right. So, nah. uh, so y'all they heard it. Gonna really y'all heard fit. it. We're gonna record. <laughs> gonna, look, look, we're gonna, gonna make watch. an event out of this. By the we're time Dane make... beat me, look, I want. We, we do a show. I, by the time Dane beat me, I'm gonna go look at what he looks like now in comparison to when he beat me. Trust me, I already, I already look different. He a go, week later. he go, he go look, he go look extra cut up by the time he beat me. Like, yeah, I finally beat him. Look at this nigga transition. <laughs> what he went through? I told Yo, him I've been in the gym. Now nah, we're gonna make an event out of it. We're gonna make an event out of it for on the page and everything because this shit is gonna be hilarious. So with that being said, yo, y'all ready? I'm out of here, yo. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm Vita Zane, niggas. I gotta, I gotta go get go cut more. What's Alvita Zane mean? <laughs> what the? Arriva Dirty. Arriva Dirty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.